Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Santiago. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Hey, Marvin, ¿qué te pasó? Te cortaron el pelo. Hello, guys. Welcome to our English class. Time to class. So, guys, welcome to everybody. It's actually a great chance to be here with all of you, ready to practice, improve, and maximize your English skills. That's one of the things we had to prioritize, especially in this class. So, it's for me a great pleasure to have you here, guys. Also, the time is actually going so fast, you know. We have this week to complete this course and go on to the next level. And definitely, that, you know, the practice makes a difference about what we do, especially. Uh, taking a personal time to study. I know that most of the time we're, we're very busy working a lot of things, but also English is a very interesting way to, you know, challenge yourself to practice. So welcome to all of you. And also, and uh, we have this class to talk about a very interesting topic, talk uh, especially about crossing cultures. So... And uh, before that we start, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. The first one is, um, what did we study yesterday? What do you remember? What was the topic? I'm sorry, the last weekend. We're talking about last Thursday because we had the last class. <laughs> so tell me uh, what we started in the last class. What do you remember, guys? What was the topic, if you remember, guys? Tell me. Present continuous teacher. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we will talk today about the section number five in the Beautiful Conference 13. And the topic is crossing cultures. This is the topic that we will talk about. Um, especially when we are discussing about some goals and things in life. So let's go on to the first part. Who wants to help me to read the instructions or the general objective of his class? Who wants to help me to read it? Me, teacher. Thank you, Santiago. By the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use relatively pronouns who and that as subject. Yes. So in that case, we will be able, we will be able to do that. Thank you so much. So we will be able to work especially, especially with relative pronouns. Like we say who and that. And because who and that can replace the name. So we will be working with this one in an important topic for this class. So we go on to the first one and we can see here the about crossing cultures. And uh, we have the culture chocks that we can see this one. We'll focus about some important vocabulary we have here, and we can see the first part, it says, these words are used to describe how people sometimes feel when they live in a foreign country, which are positive and which are negative, especially for those people who travel to other countries and they live for some time, and also the culture and the people are totally different, and it's a different experience they have, imagine, and that is a very normal experience. Imagine um, you travel to other countries, you go to US, United States, and also there are not the same traditions. People are not so friendly as people in your neighborhood. Everything is like a little cold, the weather is not so good. So people start, you know, feeling, you know, sadness or so loneliness because they don't have the experience in that place. They need to adapt to a new environment, need to adapt to a new uh, culture and also try to survive and be capable. That's why people uh, miss um, their countries. They, they miss the, everything. And I just like, uh, I know some people who have like more than five years living in, in the United States. And they always say, hey, you know what? I miss El Salvador. It's a beautiful country. And they would like to go back and, and live here. But obviously that the, perhaps the economical uh, stability is totally different there than living in a suburb, but they miss a lot of things about the country and they feel really, you know, sad because they would like to be here. 
So we have some vocabulary here, like anxious. We have the first one is anxious. And then we have the next one. So I want you to help me to check this vocabulary. If you, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it so we can practice together. So the first one is anxious. So you can see the word. The next one is comfortable. So look at the pronunciation, a little focus about that. So first one is anxious, then comfortable. Don't say comfortable. No, no, never, never in life. You say comfortable, comfortable. So you can see the word and you know how to pronounce it. And then confident, confident. Then curious, curious, curious. Depressed, depressed, embarrassed, embarrassed, enthusiastic, enthusiastic, excited, excited, fascinated, fascinated, homesick, homesick. Insecure, insecure, nervous, uncertain, 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 uncomfortable, 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 worried, worried. So we have this, um, especially adjectives, you know, that remember asked. And some special feelings or how, you know, they are used to describe how people sometimes feel when they leave a foreign country. So those are some feelings that people experience. I want to be honest with you. I was talking with a lot of people who live abroad and they always say the same thing, that they would like to come back to El Salvador, that they miss the country, the culture is different, the food is different, the, the, the economy is different, uh, neighbors are not so friendly as neighbors in the United States. So... They complain about a lot of things, and um, that's kind of normal for them. So we have this vocabulary. And also what you had to do is you had to uh, um, complete this one, which are positive and which are negative. So you had to add P in the adjective that is positive, and you had to add N in the adjective that is negative. So I will give you uh, two minutes to do that one, right? So let's turn now and write X, in that case, P, if that is positive and N, if that negative. Okay, I will give you two minutes and then we will socialize our answers.
Okay, almost ready. Yes, yes, ready, ready. Or not yet. Yes, Tell me about teacher. it. Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. That's awesome. So let's see what's going on. Well, we're gonna check some some adjectives and also um we we discuss a little bit about our personal experience when we uh, live you know abroad. It's not the same thing because we don't have our friends near, we don't have family near, and so you live in a different place in a different environment. So perhaps the culture is different. So let's see what happened here. Okay, so the first one is anxious. What do you think? It's um how what can we talk about it? It's a negative or positive. So what do you think? Mm. Negative. It's negative. Okay, let's see what happened here. What about comfortable? Positive. 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 It's positive, right? It's important to feel comfortable where we are. Yeah, that's right. So, so in that case, we're saying that that was negative and the other one was positive, right? That's okay. And what about confident? Positive. 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 That was positive too. That's okay. You have to be confident about what you do, your jobs, your activities. It's necessary always be encouraged to do something else. What about curious? What do you think about it? Negative. Curious to be negative. Positive. positive. I think it's positive because oh, you no, depend. <laughs> depend on the situation. But uh, curious is not negative Context. because when you're curious is because you want to know and that's what represents negative things. What about depressed? Negative. Negative. Uh, yeah, definitely that is negative. What about embarrassed? Negative. 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 Yeah, so you're like, you know what? I, I I have a problem, so you're like a little bit embarrassed and enthusiastic. Positive. Positive, Positive. Positive. Positive right? Yes. Positive. You're enthusiastic about something. For example, when you started studying English, you were very um, enthusiastic about learning the language, imagine, and you're finishing intermediate English advanced pre-advanced so you are enthusiastic excited positive positive, positive right yeah and we are going to try to uh write the definitions about each each one and fascinated what is fascinated positive, positive. that is positive right positive. Yes, that's okay what about homesick positive homesick Negative. 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 That's negative. Especially that happens when you live far away from your neighborhood. You live far away from your country. You start feeling depressed and sad because you don't want to be there. And insecure. Negative. 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 Nervous. Negative. 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 Uncertain. Positive. Ne negative. 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 Yeah, because you you don't you are not sure about what is going to happen. Negative. So negative too. Un uncomfortable. Negative. Or negative. Yes, because we have comfortable and we have uncomfortable and worried. Negative. 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 That's right. So we have some uh, common adjectives, especially when we are, um, you know, describing some situations, personal situations. So you can see here the, the possible examples about it. And, you know, deliver, would you like to live in a foreign country? And how do you feel or how would you feel about moving there? So I want you to think about it. And also, I want you to, like, try to answer these questions. I will give you two minutes to do that one, and we will take a short time to socialize these questions. So if you have traveled abroad, you will answer, uh, do you live or would you leave? Would you like to live in, in a foreign country? Yes, I would like to live in, in Canada or I would like to live in, in London, in England, because it's a beautiful country. 
because it is a first world class and also I will have like many opportunities and I think the culture is very friendly so I think that I will be very happy to be there and also um, how do how do you feel or how would you feel about moving there maybe it will be um a little difficult because I, I won't be near my family and I will be in a different culture in a different country but I think that I can adapt to these cultures. I can adapt to this environment. I can enjoy to be in a different place and I can grow as a person. You have to discuss about it. Entonces, si usted ya, ya ha vivido en un país extranjero, valga la redundancia, pues puede contar cómo vivió, si le gustó o no le gustó, o si le gustaría, eh, en este caso, ¿Le gustaría vivir en, un, en otro país? ¿Sí o no? ¿Y por qué? ¿Y cómo se sintió? Si ya vivió. Y si no ha vivido, pues, ¿cómo se sentiría mudarse ahí? Pues, sería una buena experiencia. Crecería como persona. No sé, muchas cosas que usted puede contar. Así que le voy a dar um, unos minutitos para que conteste la pregunta. Y luego vamos a socializar en la Breaker Rooms. Remember that these short spaces can help us to practice English. And also we can um, practice actively in this part. So, let's go.
Okay, almost ready, students? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. So we'll take a short time to practice. Remember, take this couple of minutes to speak, speak, speak. Produce the language. Take advantage of all your knowledge and also your classmates too to practice. As I said, you know, advance is that. It's like go with John and try to practice because it's necessary. So I will give you in a briefly way some minutes so you can also respond to questions about traveling. If you have had experience to travel, so you can talk about that one. If you haven't, that will be great for you to do that or not. Let's go. Look at this one. Traduciendo. Um, yes. uh, maybe I, I, I está. Maybe I, está I think, sí, I think, um, 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 Maybe I think um, nervous is um, in insecure is okay. uh, is um, I he says only okay this is the way mm -hmm. that you will feel about that so mm -hmm. okay thank you ahora mm -hmm. creo que los compañeros podrían okay uh, Raquel welcome <laughs> I wonder I wonder you yeah, really see ¿Sí? yes well, okay. uh, my case, well, the, the truth is, I have never left the, left the country. Nunca he salido del país. Mm -hmm. But if one day I went to another... Me too. <laughs> really? Welcome to my world. <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's, it's different experience. It's very, yeah. very different. I yes. went to Mexico when I am studying the university. So really? it's another experience, yes. You like it? Mm -hmm. You went mm -hmm. to Mexico. But if you will have to move another country like the United States, how do you feel? Oh, what emotion do you experience? But for, in my case, uh, it depends of the reason or who I was with that will be my reaction for example if i go on vacation with my family 
Mm, I will mm -hmm. be excited. But if I go alone, I'm so ner nervous, for example. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Really? It's the best. Yes. In my case, mm -hmm. I have never been in another country, but I would like to to do that, and I think I would I would feel in first first of all a, a little anxious because mm -hmm. I think I I always would like I, I'm sorry I always have 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 had the idea to travel another country will be. Will be excited because I would like to to communicate with with people who speak uh, who speak English and this is other thing that I I think it will be a little curious and and exciting. I, the communication I think, is yes. very important too. So, the yes. uh, pen of that, uh, how do you feel in another country that the language is different? So, yes. it's very important to the communication. I think, I think the, the culture comfortable. is different. Comfortable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. For I'm that, sure. we are learning English. <laughs> yes. My yeah. family always say me, the homesick is is most most common there in other country. Oh uh, yes, too. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, I, I I I didn't hear I what, travel, what so, you said. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I travel it's so big. it's I'm a sad, but um, living in other country is different. It's very different. Mm -hmm. I, in my opinion, yeah. I think. In other country, in other countries, the cultures, the culture is a little different than the culture we have here, because yes. sometimes I, yes, I like to absolutely. We are, como se dice, pueblos. In uh, this town, country, towns, we are towns. Towns. Uh -huh. towns the, the, another country more developed. Or villages. Mm -hmm. Is very different because sometimes I like I like to to watch videos in YouTube on YouTube I'm sorry in mm -hmm. English and I observe the people are are different when they their reactions that they have when other one uh, tell tell something is different I think I I think if we if we were here talking of that. We, we would have another reaction in people here. For example, Jaime, what do you watch? For example, um, I sometimes I watch a, a channel that is called the Daily Dropout, and they they like they like to to do pranks on people. It's like a funny channel. Mm -hmm. Yes, Daily Dropout is, is the name of this channel. Uh, but I don't remember one specific example in this moment. This is a comedy. Yes, but you... mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you see, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible how people live in, in other in other places yes it's very different very different mm -hmm. yes in, even the way that they they speak i think it's different because i think we don't have a like a melody when we when we are speaking but i think in in english people have like a, a great or a, a big melody when they I speak like hey hello or something like that and mm -hmm. like this and when we have when we are talking in spanish we have like uh same levels always uh -huh. like like me for example but in latin american <laughs> is uh, chile have um other uh, estrus 
when they speak and I like this disastrous because it's, it's como cantadito nosotros decimos yes. así coloquialmente Ajá, pero, uh -huh. pero yo siento pero... que es como como que aparte del tono es como que hasta se emocionan pues hablando Okay, guys, we'll continue. Congratulations, because I was listening. Some of you talking a little bit about your personal experience about traveling and some others that you would like to travel and also, you don't, you know, close the doors about traveling. And definitely that will be a great experience, you know, know about cultures, about people and learn about everything. Take advantage about different things. Okay, so look at this one. Was, we have some perspectives if I move to a foreign country. We're talking about the food because in every country, the food changes. There are different dishes, different recipes. There are things that perhaps are totally different about, about every single place. And we need to adapt some, some food. Some people say that there are some countries that they have traveled, the food is not so good. And some others say that the food is much better. So you complain and talk about that. And uh, look at this one. Listen to the people talk about moving to our foreign country and would you have any of the same concerns or doubts about this one? Look at this one. Okay, who wants to help me to read this information here? Who wants to do it? Please, I need a volunteer to read it. Who says, yes, teacher, I want to do it. I want to read it. I want to read. That's the attitude. All right, let's do it. Um, what things I really misses my mom's cooking? I be uncertain about the local food. I might not like it. Getting used to different customs uh, might be difficult at first. My room at home is the ring that it miss the most. I'd be homesick. Communicating is a new language is something I'd be anxious about. Moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge. I'd be worried about getting sick and, and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends, especially in a foreign language. All right, that's great, thanks a lot. You know, and yeah, some people complain about cooking. For example, our moms or grand grandmothers, they are perfect cook, cook. So when you eat something different, you say, you know what? I don't like this soup. My mom used to cook a very delicious soup for me when I was in El Salvador. Or perhaps, you know, uh, I went to a restaurant and I tried some specialties and I didn't like it because it didn't taste so good. Also, for example, there are some, you know, people who buy some pupusas, uh, Salvadorian pupusas in the United States, for example. They, they, 
the ingredients are totally different and they don't taste the same. So Salvadorian uh, ingredients are unique in comparison to U.S., especially depending where you are. Well, also look at this one, uh, some others that you read before, like communicating in a new language is something that I'd be anxious about. Imagine you travel to Canada, for example, and um, a lot of people speak um, English, so you have to in, manage the language at least to understand and also be understood too. You had to know, express your ideas, your thoughts and something. So that's why people are a little worried if they don't have a domain about a language. And also there's something that I, that I was like thinking about the homesick, especially when you're living in a different country and there's a moment that you are stressed, you are tired and you want to go back to your country. I would like to go back to my country right now, but you cannot go back because it's a temporary experience you have and also you are stressed and also that makes you feel sick. And also something that I'd be nervous about is making new friends, especially, especially in a foreign language. Uh, you know, imagine Canadian people, Australian people, and uh, British people. So, you know, Jamaican friends, so, you know, people from different nationalities. Yeah, they, perhaps they are different to having friends of your same language and country too. So rank in each concern in part A from part five. What is your biggest concern? And you will tell in that case. The first one is confident. I will. I wouldn't be worried about this at all. Um, number two is comfortable. I think this will be okay. I don't have problems with that. Number three, uncertain. Uh, this might be a problem for me. Insecure. It's. Uh, this would make me nervous and anxious that I will really be uncomfortable about this. As you can appreciate this one. Usted va a poner un rank, un rank, del número uno hasta el número cinco. En este caso, pues, de las oraciones que están ahí, eh, ¿cuál es su mayor preocupación? Entonces, de todas las que están ahí, usted va a poner un rank acerca de la uno. Para mí la uno es esta, porque yo creo que, que no me preocuparía. La dos, pues, yo creo que estaría cómodo, me sentiría bien. La número tres es como que... Algo incierto, esto podría ser un problema al final, es decir, yo hablo inglés, pero si voy allá y pues no les entiendo, entonces podría ser también otro problema. Eh, la número cuatro es inseguro. inseguro. Esto me, me pondría nervioso. An experience that perhaps I have, and the last one is anxious. Ansioso realmente sería incómodo acerca de esto. So you have to think about it. Entonces va a elegir a los cinco o las cinco preocupaciones que serían para usted la más lo más común, digamos, y cuál es su mayor preocupación okay, acerca de esto. Uh, imagine that one. Moving to a, to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge. Imagínese usted que le gusta el calor, solo pasa en la playa y vaya a congelarse. <laughs> that would be a problem. And so you have to think about it. And especially because people get sick. With, um, y en El Salvador hay un vientecito y ya le enferma a la gente. No se han fijado. Y que tener gripe. Y si solo a medio hizo viento, ya se enfermó. Imagínense ser en un clima donde la, la temperatura baja a menos, menos uno, menos dos, menos tres. So people have to adapt to this type of weather. And also they get sick about it. And they would like to go back to the suburb. That's why we live in a tropical country. It's a very personal challenge to live in a, in a um, tropical country. Because Central America, it's tropical. And then you go to the north side of U.S., U. Canada, and the weather is totally different. It's no, it's cold, freeze, so you have to adapt as fast as you can. So think about that. Entonces vamos a elegir las cinco y vamos a ir poniendo cada uno. Confident, comfortable, uncertain, insecure, and anxious. Y luego usted va a explicar cuál es su mayor preocupación de todas las que están ahí. ¿Cuál sería? Okay, is that clear? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. excellent. That's better. So I will give you some time to do that one, and we will make a small a smaller groups because I want you to take like one or three, two, one, two, three people in the in the group. So let's start and rank each concern. Y va a poner un ranking de los de las cinco más comunes. 
somebody said, teacher, one of my problems is that when I travel to England, I won't eat pupusas. This is terrible for me. The tamalitos, the pisque, you know, tamalitos, teacher. Empanadas, yes. Empanadas, the pasteles, the tolchuco, teacher. It will be hard for me to leave a tolchuco. Teacher, podrá creer que cuando, bueno, yo a principios de año fui a Guatemala y busqué y busqué un lugar donde comer pupusa y no allí. Yeah, it's yeah, it's because it's they are not originally from Guatemala, so perhaps Honduras, but we're unique. So Salvadoran pupusas are unique. So and there are also tamales, but are different tamales in Guatemala, for example. They have sí. other names and they are different. Only baleadas, but no, I don't like. It. Okay, you didn't like it.
Okay, almost ready. Yes. Almost. Okay, don't forget that you had to select the most, you know, the five, the most, you know, important for you to take into account, especially the ones that you feel confident, comfortable, uncertain, and also insecure and anxious. Okay, so, uh, well, taking advantage about this one, we'll take the attendance list, so just give me one second, guys, and we will pass the attendance list. And also, don't forget to, you know, try to practice with friends, with people, uh, take a short time to uh, practice English pronunciation, and express your ideas, your thoughts, describe your day, describe things. So those are personal strategies to practice English, especially when you need to produce the language. You know, how do you say this one in English? What's the real meaning about this word in English? How can I say this in English? So you think yourself and also you think about how you say things in English and, and learn new vocabulary. So it's good. Uh, Brigitte Lisset Erasmus. Present teacher. Thanks. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Carmen. Eh, Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present teacher. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Eh, Edith Araceli Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Present teacher. Uh, Elvis Aniva Rauda. Present. Emerson Alexander Mejia. Present. Uh, Eneida Jamilet Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Uh, Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Uh, Karen Suleima Ceseña. Present. Uh, Laura Michelle Arce. Present teacher. Eh, María Cat Catalina Corea. María. Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Alberto Rodríguez. Present teacher. Raquel Areli Santos. Present teacher. Thanks. Santiago Antonio Chávez. Present teacher. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, students, time to speak. It's time to produce the language. So because of the time, we will work in a small pairs because the time will be enough. So in a briefly way with the partner, you will um socialize this information. Okay. Así que vamos a formar parejas por cuestiones del tiempo. Bueno. And one second. We're gonna we're gonna try to. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas por el tiempo, así que I'm sorry, 
because I was I was about to send all the groups and it will take too much time for that one. So just one second. Teacher, no sé qué pasó con los demás o conmigo. I closed the I I closed the groups because I was sending okay. them in like group support and there are too many and we, like we don't have enough time to do that. So we're gonna re structure the groups again. So let's take one second. So don't forget to think about you know some problems that people experience in other countries and other cultures. Perhaps the rules that we have in in El Salvador are totally different to the rules of other countries. Things that people cannot do here in the country, perhaps in other countries, is acceptable. There are no restrictions. But also we have some restrictions here. And this is a very common experience. <laughs> okay, try now, please. Try now. Let's tell me, Bridget. Insecure. Insecure that is will make me nervous because get used to the weather and custom it because because um homesick and uh -huh. uncertain. Mm -hmm. That is your rank ranking. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karen Suleima. Uh, my my biggest concern is feeling insecure. Mm -hmm. I feel insecure speaking or trying to mm -hmm. understand someone who is speaking English. Uh huh. And <laughs> uh, then uh, my ranking is uh, the uh, anxious, uh, uh. uncertain, comfortable, comfortable, uh -huh. and confident. And confident. And confident. The five, the five sentences. Yes. Well, in my case, for example, the number one, I've been entertained about the local food. Number two, getting used to different costumes by my different uncles. Number three, moving to a country with a very different. Number four, communicating in a new language in some kind of a be anxious. And number five, I'll be, wor I'll be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. That's okay. Do you listen to me? <laughs> yes. So, so. <laughs> really? Yeah, for real. Yes. That's it. Um, um rank seria uh, the first one on today the number two um used to different costume might be different and number three uh, to move a country and uh, very anxious new language for and the number five no fine to your doctor I worry.
Are you there? I'm alone yes. here. Yes. Clean, clean. Clean, clean. I'm nervous. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Because I'm tired and I need some rest. I will know, I will know the snow. Um, okay. I, 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 I would like uh, to travel another country uh, uh, and I would like to know the snow. There's no. Uh, 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 communicating in a new language, uh, for example, in English, uh, I, 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 for me, it's difficult communicating. I, I read uh, very, very well. Yes, I, 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 I read and, uh, for example, I, I watch the movie uh, with uh, sub subtitles. Yes. yes. And and I understand. You can understand much. it. Uh, but uh in at the moment that I you need to speak. Okay. Speak. It happened to me Look. as well. So <laughs> <Look> I <yellow>. think <laughs> es que yo siento que una cosa que ayuda es como no sé, vaya yo lo que hago en el traductor de Google. Okay, students, we're about to finish. You know, the time has gone so fast. And also we have some other, we had some other things that we had to talk about. But, you know, and the practice has been very successful. I could listen, many of you talking in English. And this is what I love, that you have the freedom to speak, produce a language and try. And at the same time, we can encourage each other to keep on working a lot and also practicing, guys. So don't forget to work in the exercises in the platform. It's really necessary and also read and help each other in the exercises. So guys, time is up. And also you need to get ready to work tomorrow and recover energy. So thank you so much for being here in the class. Um, do you have a question before we finish? No teacher. No teacher. No, no, teacher. So, thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, guys. Teacher. See you. See you. Take her. Thank you so much, guys. See you. I appreciate it.